You know, we, uh, we have obviously a lot of respect for the program here and to the support that's in the building. Um, it was tremendous tonight, and I wouldn't be sitting here if it weren't for two people that are, are part of this. Um, James Dickey, who's on the staff over there, hired me at Texas Tech, ironically, in 1999 uh, in August, and gave me the opportunity to have a first college job right out of college and as the director of basketball operations for him. Now, he didn't pay me anything, uh, but I just am beyond grateful for him and his impact on uh, just my career. And then he, through a relationship, has introduced me to the AD here, Ren Baker, who I think is just tremendous. It's just a remarkable guy, first and foremost, and just two of the best people I know. So I would be remiss if I didn't say how much those guys mean to me. And then for Joe to be able to come back in this environment and to play such a magnificent game in all aspects just says a lot about his character and his heart, and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Joe, just like I wouldn't be sitting here if it wasn't for uh, Coach Dickey and Ren Baker. So I'm just extremely grateful for this day and to be sitting here with this competitor and um, – a lot of respect for what Josh is doing here in a tough situation. And I felt like our team fought, even though we got down 20-4, to four, and speaks to our character and the guys on our roster. So Joe, start with you. The obvious question, the emotions in, in playing in a place you used to play. And, and sometimes you got to hold that in check a little bit, or otherwise you can get outside yourself. So both the emotions coming in and how do you think you did? Um I mean, like you said, you know, you got to really watch that. Um, you know, I wasn't really thinking about it like that. You know, I thought it was just another game on the East Coast. You know, I was just happy my family came to see me. Um, as you guys know, New York is like five and a half away. So, you know, I was happy that my dad and my brothers came um, to support me here. And, you know, like, it's all, all respect to the coaches on that side, the guys. You know, I respect them 100%. And I talk to them. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for them and I'm happy for what they're doing. I respect it. You still have a little bit of, I don't want to say chip, but did you, I mean, you came in, I'm sure you had to, to want to play well. Yeah, always, always. That's every game, though. You know, that's that's every game I play. Every time I step on the floor, I always have a chip on my shoulder, no matter who it is. How much family do you have here tonight, Joe? Sure, about, I think, 13, 14 people, 15, around there. They're going up. He must be having some kids with him. <laughs> <laughs> so, Coach, you guys got down, as you said, early, but all of a sudden it just seems like you start hitting shots, a ton of shots. I mean, just started to fall for you at that point. You guys start doing something better. What 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 was the difference from that opening stretch to the rest of the game? Um, honestly, it was just on on defense. We we usually let our offense dictate our defense, you know. And today I wasn't gonna let that happen. I wasn't gonna stand for it, you know. I got in a couple guys' faces, you know, and I told them about themselves at half. You know, we 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 gotta we gotta stop people, you know, and me included. You know, I let I let a couple easy things go, you know. So I held myself accountable and I told the guys we can't we can't keep letting this happen if we want to win this game. Coach, sort of the same for you. Yeah, I mean, like we we've been we spent a lot of time in shoot around today and preparation and the last couple of days to find a way to deal with Edwards and then the elite scoring. I mean, that's one thing that West Virginia has done consistently. They've got guys that can put points on the board, especially if the game gets opened up. And to start the game, we weren't we weren't as engaged as we needed to be on a few things that we felt like were real foundations for the scouting report. And the second half, to hang in there in the second half, I did think our defense, I mean, you look, they only had made one three the second half. And that's a big part of, I mean, it got some open looks, but they were really deep. And, and I thought it was pushed out to where we wanted to. And then, you know, we just, we had foul trouble to start the game on our forwards, but I thought our ability to make it difficult for the ball to go in there and then to guard the three-point line was, was a big deal. This is... Um you know, really, since the beginning of the season, we've had a chance to talk to new guys that have come in here. Uh, obviously, it was a weird situation this summer. We talked to the guys who, who stayed. We, the, you're kind of the first guy we've had a chance to talk to that, that went somewhere else. Can you just kind of talk about what that summer was like and, and, and your decision to to, to move to, you know, to Texas Tech? Yeah, um, like you guys said, it was weird. A lot of things were going on. Um, you know, me and my family didn't know what was going on, honestly, and we just thought our best bet was to hit the transfer portal and see what we could get. You know, and thank God, you know, Grant and uh, his coaching staff, they they uh, they reached out to me first, you know, and you know, it was just uh, a blessing, you know, and, you know, I ended up going to Tech and 
Thank God everything's working out for me. 